Hello everybody, I'm Terry Peterman, the Internet Electrician, and welcome to another one of our video shorts on current topics here at electrical-online.com. I'm going to answer another question from one of our site visitors, and this one comes from Stephen. Stephen says, I'm going to be installing an outdoor lamp post alongside of a driveway. I have a new lamp post assembly which came with an 18-2 SJ cord pre-wired from its three lantern head down to the base of the pole assembly. The pole assembly will be mounted onto a two foot deep concrete footing with PVC conduit installed inside of the footing. A 14-2 NMWU cable will run underground from the house to the lamp post. Since the lamp post has an 18-2 SJ cord pre-wired down to the base of the pole assembly, I'm wondering if the underground cable connection should be made at the base of the pole where the pre-wired cord exists, or should I remove the pre-wired cord and run the underground cable through the pole to the head of the lantern. If the connection is to be made at the base of the pole, will it be necessary to install an electrical box on top of the footing where the base of the pole will sit? The base of the pole also has a large canopy. Well, Stephen, the base of the lamp pole itself is an approved junction box for the termination of the underground cable and connection to the SJ cord that is pre-wired from the lantern heads on down to the base. When the fixtures get appropriate approval from accredited agencies, they approve the entire fixture as a whole, and a suitable location for the electrical connections is part of that inspection. You could run that NMW cable up to the lantern head, but only if that's more convenient for you in some way, like easier access to the splice should something go wrong. But the advantage of that would be one less set of splices, thus one less potential trouble spot. The only issue you may have in your project here is the size of that underground wire. I would check with your local electrical authority to make sure that 14-2 is large enough. In some jurisdictions, they specify that 12 gauge wire is the minimum size allowed for underground installations. So in conclusion here, you do not need to install a junction box on top of the PVC conduit at the base of the footing. The fixture itself is approved for the electrical co connections. Thanks again for the question. Keep them coming and tune in often for the answers here at electrical-online.com. I'm Terry Peterman, the Internet Electrician.